enter the code of a problematic cargo lane. For example, for pressing D3 in the video, an error will be reported on the purchase screen. You can start the cargo lane test directly to see if the lane test is working correctly. If the number zero does not appear on the bottom of the test screen, this means there is an abnormality in the cargo lane. There is an abnormality in the D3 cargo lane as shown in the video because the number in the lower screen is displayed as seven. This could be caused by poor contact with the motor socket. You can try unplugging the motor socket to see if this solves the problem. Pull out the cargo tray first, then press or unplug the motor socket. Retract the tray and re-enter the cargo lane test. You will now see that the D3 cargo lane is back to normal. Alternatively, you can try swapping the motor sockets to see if this solves the problem. Switch the motor socket of the faulty lane with the motor socket of the adjacent normal lane. If the faulty lane still does not operate when plugged into the normal lane socket, there is a fault in the motor and it needs to be replaced. If the normal motor still fails when plugged into the motor socket of the faulty lane, there is a fault in the adapter plate behind the tray and needs to be replaced. Please replace the motor according to the video instructions. Multiple cargo lane failures. When multiple cargo lanes report errors on the purchase screen and multiple cargo lanes on the same level no longer operate after entering the test. First, begin checking the wires at the end of the entire row of the tray to see if they are in poor contact. Pull out the cargo tray. If the black wire at the end of the tray is loose and falling off, plug the wires in tightly. Finally, retract the cargo tray and re-enter the cargo lane test. It can now be seen that the entire row of D cargo tray is back to normal. Remove the side panels, cut the cable ties, and press the tray cables tightly. Alternatively, switch the tray cable up and down and enter the cargo lane test. If the normal tray socket still fails, the fault is in the adapter plate of the tray. If it works normally, the fault is in the vertical long adapter plate. Check the rubber sleeve or buckle. Check whether the black plastic cover of the cargo motor has fallen out and whether the motor buckle has come out. If so, you will need to restore it. Finally, you can also check whether the motor is loose as a whole, and if so, you will need to restore it. If the snowflake symbol does not appear, Enter the temperature control setting to check the temperature control mode of the machine and see if the cooling target temperature is set correctly. Check whether the door switch is in poor contact. Check whether the door switch wire is properly connected. Check whether the refrigeration switch has been turned on. If the snowflake symbol appears but there is no cooling, check whether the condenser is working and see if there is hot air coming out. Check whether the compressor works. Check whether there is any problem with the voltage. If the voltage is too low, it will affect the operation of the compressor. Remove the condenser and compressor according to the instructions in the video. Heat dissipation problems. In the case that the condenser and compressor are working normally, but the cooling effect is not normal, check to see whether the machine is too close to the wall. In addition, check whether there is too much dust on the condenser. If so, clean it with a brush to ensure proper heat dissipation of the machine. You can also follow the instructions in the video to replace the capacitor of the compressor or replace the entire condenser and compressor. Evaporator cover problems. First, remove the bottom layer of cargo tray and then remove the evaporator cover. 
Stuff it with cotton silver to ensure cooling. Then separate the evaporator and the evaporating fan with cardboard to check the frosting rate of the evaporator. If there is no frost or partial frost, it means that the refrigerant of the machine is leaking or the internal piping is blocked. In this case, the refrigeration assembly needs to be replaced. If there is a coin jam problem, follow the instructions in the video to remove the coin mechanism. Check whether the coin wheel is in the correct position. Check whether there is any coin stuck in the notch. Check if there is any coin stuck in the gap. Check whether the displacement of the coin mechanism causes the coins to be jammed. Finally, you can also check whether there are any bills jammed as shown in the video.